We do have a new Instagram account. What? Yes. Tina, how do you not know this? You know this. Wait, wait. <laughs> that we got if it's heartwarming why not <laughs> <laughs> very okay very. go this one came in through instagram we have a new instagram account at best news ever podcast we'd love to see you there this is a message that is coming from brian and it reads dear sam and tina welcome back ah. i've been a long time dorito and i feel like it's a good time to share with you guys how much the narrow door podcast helped me in my faith walk so yes dorito is a nickname that we gave to the listeners of the narrow door podcast during the early days of the narrow door podcast i was learning parables in center here in north america Hi. hello north america malawa and due to some unwanted online persecution i found out about shinchanji it definitely caused strong mixed emotions confusion and i for sure thought am i learning from a cult but i just couldn't let go of the word and i was curious if shinchanji was active in my home country of the philippines and that's when i discovered the narrow door podcast I listened to all of the episodes and look forward to every new one because you guys and the guests were asking questions that I also had. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, hearing the different takes between the panelists also really helped me distinguish and get rid of any doubts. And though I wasn't officially taught by Insta Harry, Insta Abby, and Insta Aaron, hello to all the Instas out there. <laughs> Instas. Not only in the Philippines, but all over the world. Hey, all Instas. the Instas. Don't call them Instas. Yeah. It's instructor. We're just too tired. I yeah. mean, too, yeah, too tamad to it's call like, them Instas. Instructor. It's like too informal. It's mm -hmm. instructor. They definitely played a part in helping me be sealed, and I even learn from them now that I'm able to teach basic lessons. <gasps> That's wonderful. I also learned a lot from you guys because no matter what the topic, you guys always use the Bible as the standard and reason with it. Now, every time I share my journey of learning and center, I always mention the Narrow Door podcast as a supplement Aww. that helped me recover and learn. I look forward to now listening to the best news ever podcast because those at Mount Zion really do have the best news to share. This is like Shinchanji lingo now. You know what? Actually, it's Bible lingo. <laughs> okay, it's Bible lingo. This is in the Bible. It's in the book of Revelation <laughs> and other parts. I will continue to pray for the Philippine church and let's all work together to heal nations. Fighting. Oh, I thank you, Brian. Brian. That's very kind of you to uh, uh, take the time out to write us such a heartwarming email yes we appreciate that very much your and thoughts doritos you know what meron na tayong bago may suggestion si miss mj like a name for our listeners oh, best news ever listeners i know good samarites <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that is so Cute. Diba? The Good Samaritans. Oh, oh. <gasps> MJ, okay. you're the best. MJ, RMJ. RMJ. MJ. MJ from our RTDs. Diba? Ayan. Oh, that's... The Good Samaritans. Medj mahaba, pero ang cute. For the listeners so who do not understand Tagalog, yes. so Marites is slang for a gossip? gossiper. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. So... You know, put that together with again Bible lingo, good Samaritans. Yeah, I no. kind of like it, right? Yeah, but we're not supposed to gossip. No, but we're talking about the best news ever, and this is. The oh my gosh, stuff. Wait, I'm so slow. What, did I... <laughs> what if you're a dude, though? Oh, the good Samaritan. <laughs> is that is that a real thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we'll figure it out. I love it. I love it. Okay, so from now on, people who write us will call them Good Samaritans. You know, let's just generalize naman. Pag gano, good news, best news ever. Uh -huh. Because even the guys make cheese mis naman sometimes. Oh my, okay, so sometimes I think they're like more. Uh -uh. Sorry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And also, I love that we have our first uh, message from someone who has chanced upon the mm. our wee little podcast thank you so much brian from halfway around the world so on that note um it's interesting how brian brings up in his message that at one point in his study he wondered to himself am i learning from a cult because yeah. today as it was promised a confused, yeah though. as promised in the last episode we're going to talk about some of the misconceptions that are out there about shinchanji because you know, there's a lot of stuff that's floating around online and we kind of 
collected through maybe the most popular ones, the <laughs> yeah. most common ones that people Frequently encounter. Frequently asked questions. Yeah, <laughs> like the FAQ of yeah. misconceptions about Xinjiangji, and then we can go through them um, one by one. We're going to do a two-parter. Um, just a heads up. So do you want to start with the very first misconception about Xinjiang? Yeah, Xinjiang? yeah. Do you okay. want to tell us what it is? The very first misconception about us is that Chairman Lee proclaims that he is God slash or second coming of Jesus or he is the Messiah. Mm -hmm. He is not Po. Never claimed that they never taught us that. However, Chairman Lee says that he is a servant and the messenger of Jesus. Yes. Yeah. So he was chosen by Jesus to receive the revelation. Correct. This is not what we heard in mm -hmm. the classes. This is not what we believe. But we do believe that Chairman Lee is the one that was chosen to receive that understanding from so, Jesus. So his task is to testify it uh -uh. because the understanding has been given to him. So let's start with the word revelation. Yeah. The word revelation means to open and show. Mm -hmm. So unless someone reveals it, like, meaning si Jesus, uh -oh, si Jesus, wala po makakaintindi niyan. And before that time na inopen siya, wala talagang nakaalam nito kasi nga the understanding wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So actually I think the term is revealed word. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think a lot of people can kind of now understand like what is this revelation that we're talking about? Because the Old Testament then my revealed word yon. Meaning, if you look at the Old Testament Bible prior to Jesus coming, nung first coming, there were many understandings, there were many interpretations of mm. Scripture. You know, a lot of it prophecies na hindi maintindihan, mm -hmm. and it was only when Jesus came that people were now being taught na ito talaga yung meaning because Jesus had the revealed word. Uh -uh. He preached that, right? Uh -huh. And that was also the gospel. The good news was that there was this Messiah that was prophesied in the Old Testament. Nandito na siya. May fulfillment na siya. This is good news. So therefore, whoever receives this revealed word must hmm. be able to testify. Yes, uh -oh. yes. And so that was the Old Testament Bible. We now have the New Testament Bible. And Again, we're kind of in a similar situation now where there's many different ways that scripture is understood and interpreted, but there can only really be one. And if true we go back, oh, sorry, you were saying. It's okay. If we, if we go back, di ba, bago na matay si Jesus, nagsabi siya, may mga prophecies ako mm. for the second coming. May promises siya. Yeah. Oh. Nandun din po lahat yan sa Revelation. Right. Yan. So, most of it is. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. So, again, that understanding of this book has to come from Jesus. It says that he will choose somebody and the chosen person should be able to now testify, preach the revealed word of the New Testament. And that is what Shinshinji keeps inviting people to listen to and verify through the Bible. And you can do that because all of the lessons are online in the Shinshinji YouTube channel that we talk about all the time. Exactly. And honestly, I don't know how many churches are able to do that. You know, say, hey, all of our teachings, uh -huh. wide open, mm -hmm. go through it. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you would like to contest something. We can talk about it. Which I love about Chairman Lee because every time he does his seminars, diba, mm -hmm. he always would tell people, please verify or please ask us. Mm -hmm. Or even like say, he even says, please correct me yeah. if I say something wrong. Uh -huh. Um, or let's so, take a, a Bible exam together. Mama. That's not supposed to be a friendly thing, Mama. It's like, eh, di mag-exam tayo para magkaalaman na. Parang ganun yun. Sorry naman, as a Korean naman kasi. Pag galit ba siya? Pag sinasabi niya? Hindi naman siya galit. Pero, you know, like, I'm, I'm sure it's a little frustrating for him sometimes because uh -huh. he's been saying this now for over 40 years, uh -huh. right? <laughs> And people are still persecuting and calling each other a cult and all of that. And, you know, even that term, and this is something that I want to um, say based on my personal experience as well. When I was still doing the Narrow Door podcast, um, there was one person who left a lengthy comment on an Instagram post that was for, you know, like to, to plug 
to promote an episode that we just released and this person was obviously from a born again denomination oh, and yung comment niya parang basically sinasabi niya na yung catholic church ay kulto rin so yeah. the sad reality is i think is that in the religious world, religious world the christian world there's a lot of denominations at this point there's and about 45,000 yeah, yeah i hear that's the number and when the teachings are a little different and at this point they are very different we just resort to calling each other a cult mm-hmm. which is against christian values mm-hmm. that we are supposed to espouse uh-huh. and it's just i really dislike this word i don't think we should be throwing it around so lightly mm-hmm. like that Um, which is why I think also Shinchaji is always saying, just please listen to the testimony, grab a Bible, you know, discern the stuff, verify it. If you have a problem with it, we can talk about yes. it. But please hear it. Well, we're always open for uh, like uh, dialogues, right? Let's yeah. talk about this. Mm-hmm. That's what I loved about the church. Yeah. Pag usapan natin na maayos. So yeah, anyway, first misconception. Does Chairman Lee proclaim himself to be God, second coming of Jesus or Messiah? No, he does not. It is not what we believe about him either. We believe that Jesus is the Messiah, Messiah, period. Chairman Lee is a servant and he's a a messenger. messenger. Okay. Let's go to the second misconception. Misconception number two. That Chairman Lee is immortal. Or that he claims to be immortal. For sakin to. It's not what he claims. I do hear though that apparently in Korea he was asked this question by a journalist one time. Um, and he said that it's, you know, it, it, eternal life is up to God. So God will decide for him. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if God says that I can live forever, then I'll live forever. If God says that I can't, then I can't. You know, though, but at 93 and he's working the way he does now, mm. hanga talaga ako chairman. Oh, for sure, diba? for sure. I think in a, uh, a past episode, we were talking about actually how he seems really frail because he is, you know, the age that he is. Yeah. Um, he did make it clear, though, in that interview that the hope of our faith, though, is salvation and eternal life. So it is something that we are hoping for. It is the reason why we live this faith, but it's not something that we can claim to be at this point. There you have it. So Chairman Lee does not claim that he is immortal. No. All right. So with that, I think we can move on to misconception number three, which is that Shinshaji teaches false teachings. I think this is a two-parter. Oh. In that, I think there's the aspect of There's just so much misinformation online about Shinchanji teachings that are just not taught in Shinchanji. Mm. It's just, I don't even know where these things come from because that is not what we were taught. It's not what we believe. Mm. Things like, wh- what comes to mind for you? Nah, the world has already ended and has an afterlife. Na tayo. Wow, that's uh-huh. wild. Uh-uh. And then, 144,000 lang daw yung I That's not unique to... Well, first of all, that's not what we teach. But I know that there are churches that teach that. But yeah, just I know, to clarify, that's I not know our a teaching. Few too. Yeah, yeah, that's uh-oh. not. Uh-oh. Um, and kung ano ano pa, so <laughs> <laughs> self pitying di na ako sa <laughs> di na po ako sa mas No, I mean, just our in in our church alone, there's more than 144,000 people. Yeah. Uh-uh. So you know, what are the other people supposed to do if they're not going to be saved? You know, that kind of thing. Uh-uh. So, no, that is not what that is not what the church teaches and just all the other stuff that's floating online that's false teaching in the sense na we don't even teach that. Uh-uh. So that's, that's one side of it. And then I think there's the second aspect of it where Shinjanji teachings are accused as being false because they are new teachings They go against what is mainstream teaching. Mm-hmm. And it takes us back to what we were talking about for misconception number one, which was that we believe Chairman Lee received the revealed word for the New Testament, meaning before he started testifying this stuff, the, the teaching did not exist. Oh. Yeah, we did not understand scripture this way. And so, yes, it will sound new, mm-hmm. but does that necessarily mean that it's false? Exactly. Right? Uh-oh. So it's interesting because... The Bible actually tells us what false teaching is. It mm-hmm. has a standard recorded in the book versus like, let's look at my código now. Now would be a good time to do that. Mm. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 6, 
which warns us not to add to God's words or you will be proved a liar. So uh -huh. adding to God's words, adding your own thoughts, your own interpretations. Which is also in Revelation. It is. If you add or subtract mm -hmm. from the Bible, you will receive the plagues. Oh, oh. Does, does not sound like a good thing, does uh -uh. it? Uh -uh. Um, so yeah, adding, subtracting. If you add your own thoughts to it, if you take away from it, maybe you know you do not understand something. Mm -mm. Um, all of these things, in the eyes of God, now fall under false teaching. Interestingly, something similar happened at the time of first coming to Jesus. People didn't believe because she nakatanggap ng revelation from God, di ba? Oh, parang, oh, revealed word for the Old Testament naman. Oh, Kasi oh, nga so, nagtatestify din siya nun, di ba? So, nahati din yung paniniwala ng tao. Naniwala sa kanya iba, yung iba hindi niniwala. Mm -hmm. Yung 12 disciples, sumama sa kanya. Right. And oh. he was accused of the same thing, that mm -hmm. he had new teaching. You know, what is this new teaching? Never heard this stuff mm -hmm. before. Very strange. That kind of thing. And he was also called a cult at that time. So, 2,000 years later, today, we know that Jesus was the one who was actually preaching the truth. Uh, yeah. But yeah, and but you know, again, he was accused of all of these things because the things that he was he was saying at that time, some of it was new mm -hmm. to the hearing of the the people. So just like it is now, the yeah. Shinchunji teachings are new because it's been revealed. It's been revealed to Chairman Lee by Jesus. So, I think what I want to also tell people you know as we talk about this stuff we have done the theology course and we have heard the testimony but we also want to tell you not to take our word for it because again and i'm gonna sound like a broken record i feel like on this <laughs> podcast let me let me guess okay. discern <laughs> yes <laughs> and that is what shinshiji asks the people to do and verify yes <laughs> And listen, I mean, really, short of you yourself going to the YouTube channel or, you know, taking the theology course yourself and checking this stuff out for yourself, there's really no way that you can come to that belief. So, I mean, we're just here to clarify some of these things. but Based on our own experiences yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So, we can't help but keep asking you to do that if you'd like to know where we're coming from and where Shinchanji is coming from. So, okay, I think that just about covers the misconceptions for this episode. What say you? Uh, Any last words? Discern. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> discern. Another thing that might be a curious thing for other people would be the graduation that we've been oh having. Oh my goodness, yes. Right? We were part of that. Um, not physically because yes. we couldn't be there, but last year we had literally over 100,000 100, people graduate from all over the prior world. Prior year, we also had almost, uh, more than 100,000. Yeah, I think like two years prior to that. In any case, hundreds of thousands of people literally from all over the world are taking this theology course and graduating from it and mm -hmm. becoming part of this church. And you kind of have to wonder why people uh -uh. are doing that. Uh -uh. What is being preached from this church? And just out of curiosity, maybe check it out. And I think that's where also the false accusations are coming from. The, a lot of churches feel threatened that, you know, a lot of their members are gathering in Shinchinji to study mm -hmm. the the word. We can talk about that on the next episode because yes. we're covering that one. Yes. Shinchinji church members are big on the revealed word because we believe that keeping the new covenant mm. is inscribing that revealed word of the New Testament into our mind and into our heart. Hebrews. This is in the Bible. Ooh, Say it, girl. Eight, oh verse 10 to 12. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Someone's been reading the Bible. Mm. Oui. Well, guilty, yeah. Not what? every day, but <laughs> well, I'm working on it. <laughs> that got sad so fast. Oh. Um, but no, like, seriously, it's something that we find in the Bible, and we believe that to be true, mm. that keeping the New Covenant is writing the words of the revealed word of the New Testament into in our, our hearts, hearts into minds. our minds, oh. you know, that kind of thing. And that's why we always invite people to study this mm -hmm. word. I remember just how many times it's been repeated to us in class. 
yung Hebrews chapter 8 verse 10 to 12. Mm. I like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess that's uh, the only way to um, carry out this life of faith. For me at least. Okay. Uh, I think as we go through these misconceptions, I just want to ask people not to make up their minds about a church based on what other people say mm. or what they find online. Mm -mm. And I mean, I'm guilty of that as well. In 2023, I think when we hear something and we want to know more about it, the first thing we do is we Google something. GMT, Google right? Mate. Uh -uh. Okay, I kung ano yung tea. <laughs> you know, it could <laughs> be many different kinds of teas, but <laughs> thank you for that um, wholesome version. Um, but yeah, I, and it's something I think that I've learned as well, just having to deal with this whole situation, not to do it to other churches or to other people or to whatever is going on out there. Whatever you first find online is not necessarily, and it's probably not the true version of what is happening. So <laughs> prior to Shin Shunji, ganun naman ako before. Exactly. Diba? Exactly. Cult ba yan? Ganun? Oh, oh, exactly. Uh, but so, uh, it's... Uh, it's a different life now. Yeah, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a lesson that we learned as well yes. along the way. Mm -mm. All right, so that is only the first installment of the misconceptions that we are trying to talk through here on the podcast. If you'd like to, again, check out all the stuff that we're talking about, the lessons, the testimony, the seminars and whatnot, there's a Shinchenji YouTube channel that is in English. And then we also have BiblePrayerConnection.com. All of these links are on the show description. Hello. We also have an email address, BestNewsEverPodcast at gmail.com. And on that note, we want to thank you for listening to us. And thank you in advance for sharing and liking and, and subscribing. subscribing. <laughs> Is it like oh, presumptuous? We can also discern, listen, verify. We have to share, like, subscribe. Oh. Oh, my God.